Hi there guys, my name is John from ActiveJR.com and in this video I'm going to be doing a review of the IKEA Control Outlet. The IKEA Control Outlet is IKEA Smart Plug which is priced at under £10, $10 or €10. Euros. So it's a really competitive price smart plug which has got HomeKit support, Alexa and Google Home. So continue to check out this review to see how it fares and see if it's worth buying. So starting with the design of the smart plug, it's a pretty simple design. It looks pretty similar to most smart plugs which are on the market at the moment. And now it only comes in a white color and IKEA tell me they're not planning on releasing any other colors. And in terms of the unit itself, you've got the socket which features on the front of the plug along with the light which indicates whether it's turned on or turned off. Around the back of the unit there's the plug and depending on your configuration you'll either get the US, uh, European or the UK. In this one it's, it's a UK version as I'm based in the UK. Now one of the things to note it doesn't have a switch to turn it on or off manually. It's all done within the app or with the remote control, which you can get extra. Now, overall, it feels really solid. It feels like it's gonna last a long time. It's made of uh, pretty strong plastic. So in terms of the build quality, I'm pretty impressed. Uh, so in terms of setup, this is where it slightly differs depending on your configuration. If you're already a trad for a user, then you've already got uh, a gateway already. And all you need to do is pair it with a steering device. And this is what I've used for this particular review. If you've not got a uh, trad for a gateway in the house, then you need to buy one of them and that's an extra 25 pound or you can use it without a gateway and just use it uh, with the remote. Now, if you want to get all the features like HomeKit support, Google Home, and to be able to use the app and some of the automation, then it's best off buying the gateway. And like I said, it's only £25 and you also can use it with the lights and all the other things. But for the purpose of this review, I'm going to be uh, talking you through setting it up with an existing uh, trad free system. So in terms of the actual setup itself, all you need to do is get the plug, plug it in, and then use one of the steering devices to connect it uh, to the gateway. Now setup, I found really simple and it found it first time. And this is what I found with most IKEA products in their smart range. And now one of the things that does puzzle me is why you need a steering device to pair any of their accessories to the gateway. Uh, this is IKEA's way of doing it, but it also allows you to use this steering device. Um, it's normally a switch uh, to be able to uh, switch the plug on or off or uh, group it with a bunch of light. Uh, so moving on to the app, the app is pretty basic when you compare it to some of the others like Evome or Wemo, and it doesn't have energy monitoring. It doesn't have the amount of time it's been switched on or switched off. The app allows you to switch the socket on or off, and it also allows a bit of home automation in the app. One of the things that's really interesting is you can set up timers so it'll switch on at certain periods and turn off. This will be useful if you want to mimic someone at home, if you're away or on a holiday, and that I found particularly useful. Now, in terms of the smart home features, again, you need a gateway in order to do this, but you can connect it to Google Home, HomeKit, and you also can connect it to Alexa without a gateway, but I didn't test Alexa in this review. I test Google Home and it works really well, be able to find the device, but I really tested HomeKit more because that's the uh, protocol I use at home. Uh, now in terms of HomeKit support, I think this is where this smart plug from Ikea really excels. Given it's only 10 pound and some of its rivals are 40, 50 pound for HomeKit support, you really can't go wrong if you want a HomeKit plug that works. Setting up with HomeKit is really simple. If you've already got a trad free gateway and you're already using the Ikea products, it simply is added to your HomeKit set. All you then need to do is uh, place the control outlet in the room you're using. If you've not already got the trad free set up and it's setting up for the first time, it's as simple as uh, following the process and scanning the barcode on the back of the gateway and then following the instructions. Really simple to set up in HomeKit. Once you've then got it set up in HomeKit, you can use all the automations, all the scenes, and you also can use it with, hey Siri, turn the garage floodlight on. Now, what I used in my review and why I still use it now, I use it with a LED floodlight, which is attached to the garage. So I set one up, plugged it into the uh, control outlet, and then I paired it then with the Netimo Presence motion sensor. So when someone walks up the drive, then the floodlight was activated. Now, this has not failed me. It's worked really well. And for £35 for the overall setup of uh, the LED floodlight. So I think this is really good use case for the plug to create a outdoor floodlight, which is enabled with OwnKit. And now talking about some of the limitations, as I've already mentioned, it doesn't include energy monitoring, doesn't include when it was turned on or turned off, and the app is pretty basic. 
And yeah, some people will want an energy monitoring and some people will want all the uh, insight that you get from a smart plug. And if you do want that, this is probably not the right smart plug for you and maybe look for something like the Eve. What you've got to remember, however, is this is four times cheaper than those products. And I've got a couple of Eves in my house. I've also got a Wemo. And uh, to be honest, apart from when I was doing the reviews for those products and maybe for a couple of weeks after and you stop using it, I simply use all the smart plugs in the home as smart plugs, not interested in the energy monitoring and all of those things. Now, it may be different for you, but I think really think carefully about whether you really need the energy monitoring. If you don't, then this is a great option. Uh, so in summary, overall, I'm really impressed. It's been in my home for about four months and I've not had any outages with it and it's worked really well. It's a solid construction. Yes, it doesn't have energy monitoring, and if that's something for you, then maybe look for something else. However, for a smart plug that is compatible with HomeKit, Alexa, and Google Home, for under £10, you really cannot go wrong with this smart plug. If you're also a existing Bradford user, then this is a no-brainer because you've already got the kit in your home. However, if you are starting out in Smart Home or you don't use Tradfree and you want to use some of the Smart Home features, then you do need to invest in a gateway, which is about £25. Guys, thanks very much for watching this video. If you've liked it, please give me a thumbs up. If you've got a question or a comment, please leave it in the comment section below and I will get back to you. And also subscribe to this channel as there'll be more videos. Certainly the IKEA smart blinds will be coming out in the next couple of months and I'll be doing a review on those. And also check out my channel and other videos. Thanks very much. I'll speak to you soon.